Hello YouTube and welcome to another Tax Loss video. I was recently in Berlin and visited for the first time the new Apple store there and I bought something and it's a Lightning Digital AV adapter. This is Apple language for Lightning to HDMI adapter. So and what's the problem here? Apple is uh, building lightning adapters in all their new devices and then you need an adapter for all the other stuff VGA, HDMI and and and. So what's the problem about this lightning digital digital AV adapter? It's the price. Apple is charging 49 euros for this one and um, Apple did something here. Apple is earning a lot of a lot of monies with these adapters because with the old 30 pin adapters um, Apple was sell selling them for 30, 40 euros but you can't, could buy cheap rebuilds from China or wherever you wanted uh, on eBay, on Amazon for just a couple of bucks and they worked well even with audio and all the stuff. And now with the new lightning technology Apple is building some security chips in here that even though you're building, uh, buying a rebuild the rebuild will still cost you 44, 45 euros so then you can spend a couple extra bucks and get the original from Apple. So let's find out what's in here. There we go. The adapter and some no stickers, just some fine print here. Okay, then let's take our adapter and that's it. This little piece of plastic costs 50 euros. We got our lightning port for all our lightning iOS devices and then we got our HDMI here and another lightning port. If you want to charge your device while using the adapter, uh, don't worry, the adapter will work as well even without charging the device. So and now we're, let's hook it up to our monitor. And then we take an iOS device of our choice, this time an iPhone 5S here. Uh, we get this blue line here as we know it from tethering and there we go we got our normal Apple screen on the on the television. So if you will start a YouTube video no problem here horizontal yes and we also got audio. So uh, what you notice is there are little black bars on top and on the side this is uh, in my opinion normal it's I just take the iPad because on the iPad you can see it even more because we got here um, let's get sharp camera whoa camera there we go we got four to three and the television's got a format from 16 to 9 and now if I put my iPad in then you notice a real big difference here and there we go. You get really, really fat borders on the side and on top. This is because of the different form factors. Um, just that you know what you are getting here. Um, if you are using it for, for normal video, no problems here. Let's go head over to, to the iTunes store and start a normal trailer. This time here from the new Wolverine movie. And there we go. And movies and videos are normally in 16 to 9 so we got our normal borders on top and on the bottom but no frames on the side so this will work without any problems. So now you're asking why a digital AV adapter and no Apple AirPlay Apple, uh, and uh, Apple TV because Apple TV costs twice the money okay it's comfortable for your home I definitely recommend an Apple TV but if you're on the go and you have no Wi-Fi. You need uh, if you are over with your friends, friends who don't have an Apple TV, or if you're on the go in a hotel room or or some so things. This digital AV, this Lightning to HDMI adapter is definitely a nice choice. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next video. Bye.